y'all. So today I want to show you guys where you can download free fonts online and how to upload them to your Cricut Design Space, whether you have a Mac or if you're using Windows. Okay, so the first thing that you're gonna wanna do to download your font is go to dafont.com. And there are plenty of other websites out there. I just really like this one because all these fonts are free. It's super easy to pick a specific category for fonts. Like maybe you want a cartoony looking font or a distorted font or calligraphy, handwritten, modern. They have all kinds of categories that you can choose from. So it makes it really easy to find what you're looking for. So the first thing that I'm going to go to is calligraphy. That's 10 to what I download the most. So then you can just kind of scroll through exactly what you're wanting. Or if you're like me, you know exactly what you're using this font for most of the time. So like, let's say I want to do someone's name. You can type in the name that you want and hit enter. And then it's going to show you all the fonts with whatever you just typed in this little preview box. So I really like this feature. So I really like this Hello Honey one. So I'm going to go over here and hit download. So up there, it's now in my downloads folder. So I'm just going to click it and there it is there in a folder. So we're just going to click this and it opens up the folder with the font name right here. So you'll notice here that there is a PDF file, a text file, and an OTF file. Sometimes, whenever you download these fonts, there will not be an OTF file available. It'll be something called a TTF. That'll work fine, but if it happens to give you both options between an OTF and a TTF, choose the OTF over the TTF. So we're just going to double click this and it's going to open it in our font book app that comes installed on your Mac. So you're just going to hit install font down here. And as you can see, it just added it to my downloaded fonts. These are all my downloaded fonts that I've already downloaded. So now you should be able to open up your Cricut design space. And it's really important that you open up Cricut after you install the font. If you already have Cricut pulled up and you download the font and try to use it, it's not gonna be there. You have to start with a fresh new Cricut window. So then I'm gonna hit new project. Let me get rid of these canvas lines just so you guys can see it a little bit better. And we're going to hit text and we're just gonna type in Hello, and I'm gonna move it up here and make it bigger so you guys can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna go up here and hit font. Now you'll see up here how it says all system and Cricut. So these are all of the fonts available. The system option are the fonts that are on your system. And Cricut, these are all the fonts that Cricut has available. So you can either hit system or you can leave it on all if you remember the name of the font that you just downloaded. So I know that it was Hello Honey. So as you can see here, here is the font. It says Hello Honey over here, but it doesn't look like the font we downloaded. That's okay, just click on it and it's gonna change it to the font that we just downloaded. So there you have it. There is how you download a font and get it onto your Cricut Design Space to use for free. So this works for Mac or Apple devices, but if you happen to have a Windows device, it's gonna be basically the same steps, except where I had a download folder up here um, on Windows, you'll have to open up your file browser and go to your downloads folder, open up the folder, right click it, and then there should be a button um, when you right click it, a list of options will come up. You're going to click extract all and then another window should pop up and then you just hit extract and then double click the file name and then hit install. And it works the same way 
as far as getting it on your Cricut Design Space. It's just a few added steps to download and get the font installed on a Windows computer versus a Mac. So just a quick tip for any users that are using Windows. So another quick tip that I can give you guys, if you see a font online that you really like and you want to know what font it is, I will start off by saying you have to pay for it. Let's say you find a font that you really love but you don't know where to get it. So a good source is to go to Pinterest and you can just type in, you know, whatever you're looking for, like calligraphy fonts. And a lot of these posts on Pinterest are digital design artists that have created their own fonts that you can purchase. So you can go that route or you can screenshot that font. So I'm going to go down here to my little screenshot tool and I'm going to hit capture and then I'm going to go to this website. It's called myfonts.com slash what the font. So then here it says drop an image here to identify the fonts. So you can click here. We're going to go to our recents because we just screenshotted it and I'm going to hit choose and there it is. So, so you drag the box to the font that you're wanting to identify and then you scroll down and hit this little blue arrow and it's going to pull up any similar fonts on the internet that you can get. So I like this because sometimes I find one font on Pinterest, but the artist that created it is charging, you know, $25 for it. I like this website because it will find similar fonts that may be significantly cheaper. So for example, I'm not sure what this artist was charging it for, but these are all fairly similar fonts for a reduced price. So this one's only 450, that one's 12, here's another one that's 450, but you can just keep scrolling and look at all the different prices. Um, they vary. So, so that's just a quick tip for you guys. But if you don't wanna pay, then I definitely recommend using defont.com and you can search whatever you want. But if you don't care about looking up the exact word because you're just trying to find a general font that you like, then you don't even have to do a preview and, and it'll just bring up a bunch of fonts that you can look at and you can just scroll through this. But I will say you will be scrolling through this for hours because there are thousands of font on this website. So just a heads up. All right guys, so I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any tips and tricks and any other crafting tutorials.